So this week I uh, this week I've been mainly working on the uh, Mandalorian pulse rifle um, reduced by down to seventy five percent for the youngin. Uh, so magazine uh, magazine clip. Uh, they're the couplers trigger these are all spring loaded as these two as well so i've just got to make sure i've got the right size springs for these these are the supports that go between each section because i've increased the infill so they're they're actually thicker because uh, he'll probably be throwing it around comic con and that i want it thicker than my display one um so this one is um 25 percent thick infill which does make it a little bit heavy and also it does take a lot longer it's like that one part there was five hours when normally it's it's a lot quicker so trigger mechanism is done and the two parts to the handle are done so the trigger mechanism here is ready to go i've just got to find a spring that goes into the oh careful goes into there and then the right size screw nut and bolt to go in there which then goes through that housing on the other side of that spring loaded trigger then what you've got here is the oh, oh god magazine housing here so that part there you put a spring in the little bit at the bottom there and that fits into there and that slides backwards and forwards spring loaded that bar there goes across the front there to hold it into place so once you put the spring in you put something in to keep it back while you just glue the retaining bar in and then the magazine just then slots in and out and I've got um, cartridges for that as well so that just goes in and out so they're taking a little bit longer to print and I've got some sanding to do just because I'm creating thicker ones. So at the moment it's doing the next section there. Um, and that's going to take 5 hours and 22 minutes. It's going to cost around about £1.49. And it's going to weigh a lot heavier than my one did for my display one. Uh, and it's going to use about 24, 25 metres worth of cable. So it's off. It's working. And that still needs a good clean. Must get round to that. So glued glued ready to go next part's going on here and then i've got uh, one two three three more bits to one two three yeah three more bits to go in uh and then i need to spray it prime it up to about here i've got wrap to go on this a nice desert wrap now the best thing i found for that on mine is the surgical tape that you do if you cut yourself you've got that brown um, sticky tape that you stick on um, yes cat thanks so just put a bit there and let it lap over and then start wrapping it around all the way down and it gives it that that desert look effect and then spray the rest up so yeah and that's that so his helmet's looking good i have uh cut the perspex to go inside he wants it blue and then he wants some blue and blue and blue because he wants to be all blue so got to secure that perspex in which i shall do later <laughs> 